What is goody gang? So today I'm going to be talking about who to the best pick in the 4.1 banner as for F2P players. You guys already know to absolutely nuke that like button and to join our goofy discord server which is in the description. The server is very active and I am too so it's a great place to just vibe out and get notified as soon as I upload. Special thanks to Blip and Ash from the server for helping with this video to make videos like these possible. So before I start the video I would like to preface that if you like a video then you should go for them, and that this video is just seeing who's best value at F2P level. So beginning with the phase 1 characters of Nuvalet and Hu Tao, I would say they both have similar pull value actually for F2P. Nuvalet is a high damage output hydro character that can apply some great O application as well, making him a great candidate for Taser, Freeze, or Nilu Bloom teams. However, where he falls off is his decently large cooldowns for his skill and burst, both which he needs to drop the dew droplets. With the droplets, after collecting a certain amount, he will be able to perform a supercharge attack, so it will be important to manage the cooldowns during rotations which could be a bit of a slight skill ceiling. On top of that, at C0, Nuvalet doesn't have the best interruption resistance and he is very vulnerable in this state when using the skill. You could combat this by giving him a shielder, but it could be a waste of a slot as well. He doesn't have many F2P options, where the best one I can think of is really Prototype Amber for the HP and slight healing. However, Nuvalet really isn't a must if you have Yellen and Zinquayu and want reaction-based teams, since they can generally do the same job as him but at slightly lower damage. However, he is best as a hyper carry on field damage, while they are sub DPS. He can still work with some F2P options like Sucrose, Shanking, and Fiscal, so while he isn't the worst for F2P he isn't the most ideal either. Now moving on to Hu Tao, she is a great vaporize on field pyro DPS that can deal massive amounts of damage. However, her main drawbacks stand with the fact she has to be low HP which can be very risky to play with making her skill ceiling high. You could give her a shield but it does have to be very strong, Zhongli being the most preferred but Toma or Layla potentially working. Hu Tao also favors a charged attack gameplay style, which can drain stamina and make it harder to dodge enemy or use stamina when doing other things. Additionally, she gets the most damage output from doing a charge cancel mechanic, which is also a slight skill ceiling. However, if you can get over all these ceilings, she's actually an insane F2P option, and even has some good F2P weapons such as the new Free Fontaine Polearm weapon. Now moving on to Ryuth's Lee, I would say he is the best person to pull for in terms of F2P options and ease of use. Being a Cryo DPS user, he is slightly more restrictive in terms of meta, but in comparison to the other characters in this banner he can be used in an equal amount of teams. Ryuthsley works best in Melt and Freeze teams, and will work great with the already free Xiang Leng and Bennett. If you have Layla which we got for free in 3.8 then he can be great for Freeze along with if you have Zinquayu or off-field Hydro Dealers. He has great F2P options as well such as the Witsith or even the new 4.1 event weapon we get for free. His playstyle is a lot more comfortable than that of Nuvalet or Hu Tao so if that is something you care about then I would pull for the Rizli. Lastly moving on to Venti, he has the least value among all of the 4.1 banners considering his crowd control only works on smaller enemies. Venti is a great crowd control but especially when you're fighting bigger enemies his vortex is essentially useless. It would be better to just use Kazuha for the elemental damage bonus, so I wouldn't recommendable Venti for AB F2P player. Overall, I think the other three characters are all really good, and it mainly depends on what you're looking for. If you don't have many Hydro characters, Nuvalet is the best pick for high O Hydro damage. Hu Tao is best for high Vaporize damage, both Nuvalet and Hu Tao being higher skill ceilings and bit of a drawback without C1. Ryuthsli is great at C0, although he is best at C1, but in general he's great in Melt and Freeze, where he is easy to build and play right off the bat. So these are my thoughts on who to pull for in 4.1, who are you pulling for in this patch? 